Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to study dividing fractions. And I assume you already have studied the shortcut for division of fractions, which is that instead of a dividing by a fraction, we change that into a multiplication by the reciprocal number. In this video we're going to look at some situations that involve division of fractions. But first, let us just review real quick with one problem. 3 fourths divided by 2 sevenths. Like I said, we're going to change this problem into a multiplication problem. It's going to be multiplication. This number won't change, but we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 sevenths. So you flip it. You get 7 over 2. And now you multiply 3 times 7. Well, first you might want to check if there is anything you can simplify, but not right off. And then we get 21 here, and then here 8. This now just into a mixed number. 8 goes into 21 2 times, so we get 2 whole pies, 16 eighths, and then 5 eighths. Okay, does that make sense? You know, 3 fourths divided by 2 sevenths. You can think of it this way. If you have 3 fourths, like a pie, okay, 3 fourths of it is colored, and how many times would 2 sevenths fit into that? 2 sevenths is much less, okay? 2 sevenths of a pie, those 2 slices that are sevenths, would fit into there over 2 and a half times, so it does make sense. Sometimes we can solve fraction division problems using a visual model or just thinking logically without using that shortcut. For example, if you have one third of a chocolate bar left, one third, you're gonna share it between three people. Remember, Division by a whole number, you can think of it as sharing. So how much will each one get? Okay? I'll cut it like that. Each one will get that kind of a piece. But how much is it of the whole chocolate bar? Well, to see that, you probably have to divide these into similar pieces too. So now you see each person would get one of those, which is just one ninth. Okay? Let's check though, would the shortcut work here too? If I use the shortcut, then I would change this into multiplication and 3, I would flip it to get one third. So yes, you would get the same answer that way too. Here, I have 4 divided by 1 eighth. Think of it this way. How many times does 1 eighth fit into 4? How many eighths are there in 4 full pies? And that's very easy to think about. You know, in one pie you would have 8 eighths. And so in four pies you will have 32, right? So this is 32. That's the answer. Now, the shortcut works too, because you would have 4. This changed into a multiplication. And 1 eighth, when you flip it, it becomes 8 over 1, or just 8. Same thing. Another situation is... Very occasionally, you might be able to solve a division problem by thinking of multiplication. I'll show you how. This is a carefully chosen fraction division problem so that it works. Okay, 5 sixths divided by half is some kind of unknown number. Any division you can check by multiplication by going this number times that has to equal that. So let me write now this number times that, okay? The question mark or some unknown number here times half has to equal 5 over 6. So what number would go here? Well, I can think, okay, if it's going to be a fraction, then in the top numbers, something times 1 has to equal 5. 5. And something times 2 has to equal 6, so it is 3. Okay, so 5 thirds is the answer to this. Or oh, it is 1 and 2 thirds as a mixed number. Here, another carefully chosen problem, that way it works. If I have a multiplication problem where there's an unknown factor, right here, this is unknown, then it's basically a division problem. This is the same problem as if you took this divided by that. Okay, the same number goes here. Again, you can think 7 times 3 equals 21 and 8 times 5 equals 40. Okay, 